Dr. Zenobia James. I am the instructor for the Nursing Assistance Level 1 group, a job training program for students between the ages of 18 and 24. The students are non-native English speaking and also and the non-native English speaking people or students are African, Jamaicans, Latinos, and other Spanish speaking people. This class time is 50 minutes. And there are adults and students, several adults and students enrolled in this class. Their names are Jones, Brandon, Richard, Daniel, Ethel, Antoinette, and Shakira. On the list, only one that I will be addressing today, which is guided practice. The level of language ability for these students vary from absolute, begin from absolute beginners to intermediate students. We don't want to think about absolute at this point in the juncture. Today, the students are going to learn a new language. Look, look, look at that language up there, elder speak. And that's the kind of language sometimes uh, workers that's working with seniors and elderly and the disabled use. So our language lesson today is elder speak, which is a form of baby talk, frequently used by healthcare workers and also very commonly in uh, nursing homes. Uh, it's been said that the elders speak tend to irritate older people because it is patronizing and demeaning form of communication. And this course, this lesson, the content of this course is reading and writing and speaking in class. We normally say reading and writing and arithmetic, but this is reading and writing and speaking in class. The objective for this lesson is that students will demonstrate their understanding of elder speech and how to communicate effectively. Dr. Z's micro teaching lesson. My, my part that I'm going to do today is guided practice. And we all know that the guided practice is guided by the teacher, uh, just imparting information that the student may not know or the student may know, but you have to explore and help them to understand and know what it is. So today, let us talk about what you know and have learned about communicating with the elderly and the disabled. That's going to be about 10 minutes. And my questions are based on the student's homework assignments that included reading in the textbook, nurses assistant care, long-term care, textbook, pages 269 to 270. I did check these out. Prior knowledge and new knowledge about elder speak. And I'm going to be looking forward to the students answering the questions. Okay. Uh, pay attention to the, the photos and give you some clue of what's happening. When you are communicating with the elderly or disabled, why is it important for nurses and sisters not to talk to them as if they were children? Seniors, elderly, adults 
And when you talk to them like they are children, then you are embarrassing them and you're not respecting them. And they feel agitated and then they don't want to accept nobody. Uh, elderly person like a child, again, it is demeaning, it is embarrassing, and it is uh, disrespectful. And it's hard for many people to uh, uh, accept. Think about this in, uh, in the nursing facilities a lot of times. You have to feed the people. Well, when you're treating them like a child, they don't care if you help them to eat. Internet, that is so right. You're making fun of the elderly person or the disabled person. Look at that eye, he's waking. And he's saying, is there any pain in your stomach? Now, if you were and you was acting like that, more likely the elderly person might just say nothing. Let's see. Richard, what is elder speech? Now we've been kind of talking about it and you read about it. And I'm sure among yourselves you have discussed it. So what is it? Richard. Do you have any questions? What looks wrong with him? Does he look like he's having problems? Oh. What does it, you think he is communicating to anyone? Anyone? What is he communicating? Oh, one other person. Ethel. This person is communicating to anybody that's looking at him. Okay, he's irate, a tyrant, and probably what else? Yes, overview of what elder speak is. Now you kind of got a general understanding of what elder speak is and how you can improve your language and you ha uh, can communicate positively much better. And I encourage you to do your homework assignment. It will help you to learn how to communicate respectfully to everyone. Thank you for sharing.